Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, normally I do all my reports uh, as written reports, but this time I'm planning to do something different. Uh, I'm gonna just have a informal conversation with you guys and share a little bit of what God is doing <clears throat> in our lives. So it's gonna be more oral than written. So let's see how it goes. Have mercy of me a little bit, but I hope you can enjoy this time and this report. Yeah, I'm still working at Spoken uh, and enjoying every day that I get, I dive in into the orality world, I start to get excited. I love what God is doing through Spoken and I love what God is doing to these oral people, the oral learners. So I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what what God will do through me. So let me let me just share a little bit of what I'm doing right now. Um, I've been working with a country in Southeast Asia as shadowing one of the more experienced consultant, and uh, it's been very 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 excited to see what God is doing. We've been we we are translating a local language. So the country. His main language is already already have a Bible in their language, but the, this local community they don't have anything, so we are working with them. We have nine translators working on that, and it's very excited to see the desire that they have to have the Bible in their language. These nine are full time working with us, so and we are supporting them financially and prayer and giving all the tools they need to develop this this ministry so it's very excited to be part of this project and one thing that i really catch my eyes regarding these nine uh, key leaders is that the desire to evangelize evangelize people so that desire is amazing so they are really excited to have the the oral Bible translation ready to go so they can evangelize more. So they already doing that a lot. Uh, every weekend we hear that they went to the streets and evangelize. That was, that's a, amazing. They keep doing that uh, often. So w because of that, we've been working on the book of Mark and with kind of a panorama using some texts that help them in the process of sharing the gospel. So that, that's where we at right now. Uh, please pray for this, this translators and the country. It's, uh, there is a lot of things going on in this country right now, politics, war, and things like that. Please consider them in your prayers. This is a Southeast, uh, of Asia country. Please consider them in your prayers. Regarding family, we are doing well. Luca, Nathan, Elo and I, we've been, I think the word of our mom, um, uh, as the moment of our family, the word that I could summarize is balance. Because we do, we do have college kid, we do have a senior kid, we do have work, church, and it's too much things, we need to find the right balance. So let me share a little bit. Luca is in his going to his second second semester of college uh, for vet tech. He wants to be a vet, so that's the process, uh, the steps, and the the path he chose. So he's excited with that, and he's been working at McDonald's and planning maybe to move on to some start to work with vet tech, working in some clinics like an internship program or something like that. So he's looking for that right now. Nathan is in his senior year and uh, excited to get rid of school, you know how work. And uh, he's, re he's doing some applications for college. So he applied for maybe four or five colleges and he will make a decision where he want to go. So p please pray for that. Consider praying for that. For now, Elo is excited at work. She's, she's working in a public school and her job stuff, dealing with the treble kids, and that's part of her job. And sometimes she get home very tired, then she has to deal with me. So she doesn't have a vacation or rest time. Always having, having to deal with the treble ones. <laughs> so it's play. Please, please pray for her because sometimes she's very tired and emotional. 
tired and put like this. So please consider praying for that for her. Uh, regarding church, we are attending a new church. It's called Constance Free Evangelical Church. We are being we are so excited. We're being blessed by them, and the church uh, is really being very relation with us. So that's really good, really helping us. And we are finding spots to serve and get involved. So that's good. So we Luca is involved with the with the college ministry every Tuesday night. Nathan's involved with the youth ministry every Wednesday night. Elo is involved with the women's ministry every Monday night. And I, I, I don't, I'm not involved 100% with the church yet because I'm being discussing with one of the pastors, how can I serve the local church? So we, we're figuring out what's the best place where I can, I can be involved with the spoken job and finding the right balance. So I think there is a couple opportunities that they, they're asking me maybe work with the small group leaders, do some some things related to that, or maybe helping the training uh, leadership for the youth ministry. I I'm willing to serve where the pastor leads me, but we've been talking a little bit on that. So we are excited. We went through the discipleship program that they have for the whole church, who is very excited. So we were uh, amazed by what God is doing through Constance. So yeah, next year we are asking for our membership next month. So we really want to dive in into the local church. That's our desire. So that's a little bit of where we are. So thanks for your support. Thank for your prayers. Uh, may God bless you in this season. May you have a good time as a family and celebrating the Jesus, the one that uh, the only one who deserves all our uh, uh, worship and glory. Thank you so much and God bless you.